Hey there, you want to go for a short ride along with me today? And let's see how much money we make. Oh, come on. Hi everyone and welcome back to another ride along video. This one's gonna be even shorter. My name is Russ and if you're new to the channel, welcome. I make videos to help drivers like you improve your earnings and ratings doing food delivery companies. So today I'm gonna be multi-apping, primarily using Uber Eats and Instacart. I do have other apps, but they've been slow, so primarily I'll use those too. So let's get right into it. Before I started this, I already accepted an order from McDonald's. It was 11.78 and under three miles. So that was a no brainer. I'm definitely gonna take that. I just dropped it off at the customer's house and now it's time for me to uh, fix my phone a little bit. I got a new one. So I need to put some messages in there so I can text them to the customers. So be right back. All right, welcome back. I just got an order for Starbucks 1261. I think it was four and a half miles. I was just finishing testing out my messages on here and uh, looks like they're all set. So let's get in there. They do have a long line at the drive-thru, but hopefully our order's ready. All right, let's get in there. All right, we have two coffee travelers from Starbucks for Jason 4.4 miles away. Let's get on the road and deliver it to them. See, I was so excited to deliver that, I left my phone here. So I'll send a little message. And I use the personal dictionary. It says, have a great rest of your day. Thanks again, Russ. And delivered. Alrighty. I happen to also be using this. I think I'm gonna use the Bobolov camera when it says hand to me because I think this Osmo may be a little big and intrusive. I don't want it to affect my tips when people see this giant camera hanging around my neck, but let's see what other orders we get. All right, welcome back. I've been hanging out near Denny's and I'm so glad. I just got two orders from Denny's for Uber Eats. One was seven something, the other was six. The follow on was 0.8 miles, so that's not too bad. I was getting worried before with the tips, about $24 an hour, and I was 20 minutes into the next hour. So this is gonna be a nice boost. Let's get in there, get the food, and deliver it. Yeah! All right, welcome back. When the other tips come in, I should be at about $40. I've driven roughly 21 miles. Now you can't really see that. And I've done four deliveries. So I would say this is average, $20 an hour. It would be nice if it's busier. I'm gonna relocate and go to an area where it's gonna be busy. It's 10 o'clock. Lunch will start picking up in about an hour. So as we're driving somewhere else, hopefully I call it going fishing. We'll see what we catch. All right, back in a bit. Yeah.
Good afternoon. It is 11.42. I've been out for three hours and 45 minutes. I've made 30, almost $9 on Uber Eats. And it should be, I forget now. I think it was 27. Yeah, 27 for the two Instacart orders. And I completed those about 15 minutes ago. I would say it's a little bit slow right now. It should pick up for lunch. So far with my hourly earnings, that's a little over $20 an hour, or right at 20. So it's okay, it could have been worse. Uh, like on Monday, I think I was doing like 15 an hour. So let's get out there, hopefully get some orders and deliver them as quickly and safely as we can to the customers and get those big tips. Back in a bit. All right, there's that Chipotle order safe in the bag. I took a $17 order and it's, uh, let's see how many miles, 4.8 miles. So let's get on the road. I'm glad that business is picking up. I was worried I was gonna have to start running errands. All right, let's go. Hi, I'm here for the Uber Eats for Ariane. I'm in spot two. Cool, thanks a lot. That's all of it? All of it. That's awesome. See, that's congratulations to me. <laughs> this will be the biggest one. I'll, I'll fit it in. Alrighty, it is hot. My car says a hundred degrees. Alrighty, I would say between the two apps, we're at $96. That's obviously from uh, a few days ago. So $96, I've driven 66 miles and at the count in my head, five hours so 20 bucks an hour a little bit less so let's get some more money it's an instacart order at walmart and it should be okay i think it was 20 something dollars two items from walmart so we'll do it so i drove five and a half miles to get here for these dog pads and i think the shopper canceled the batch somehow it talks about go to a network area where it can sync Alrighty, I'm chatting with Instacart because something happened to that order. I think the customer canceled it somehow. So let's find out. Says he's gonna help me. I guess I shouldn't be so pessimistic. Uh, Clarify said he's gonna figure out what happened and make sure I get paid for it. So that's encouraging at least when I'm used to other food delivery apps not really coming through when, it, um, when they need to resolve something and doing right by the driver or the shopper instead of the customer. All right, let's head back over the hill and get some more orders, whether that's Instacart or Uber Eats. All right, well, that's nice. Clurthy did get me paid $18, so no tip, but hey, I'm glad I got to uh, get some of my money back because I drove five miles out of my way. I don't usually come out this way. So thank you, Instacart. That is something rare that I'm not used to with DoorDash and Uber Eats and Postmates. Ta -da. All right, thanks a lot. Thank Have a good day. Have a good one. No way, I'm kidding. All right, time to give the car a bath while I'm waiting for an order. 
and right now I've driven 89 miles. I've worked six hours, actually six hours, 15 minutes, and I've earned a total of $125. So I would say that's average, that's decent. $20 an hour is what I really like to earn. And then I'll add up the uh, totals at the end of the day. I'm only gonna go for probably another 45 minutes. So you know what, I'll just save it for then back in a little bit. Hopefully I get at least two more orders before I have to stop. All right, see ya. All right, so that was a nice busy day of doing food delivery. I did a total of seven hours. I roughly drove 95 miles, so well under a dollar per mile. Total earnings were $71 for three batches on Instacart. Two I did complete, they were both Costco. And then the one I called the customer support agent to get paid, that was almost $19 in payment, which is great. Then on Uber Eats, I did $83 total for 11, I'm sorry, eight trips. So that brings the total to 11 trips overall. I'm always happy anytime I make $10 per delivery. So that put me at 110, obviously ended up making more than that. 71 plus, we'll say 83, $154. When you divide that by seven hours, that's $22 an hour. I'm very satisfied with that. Those are good earnings. And if you account for gas, which I would say I used maybe four or five gallons, that's $25. Um, still, to clear $120 in a day is great. I always like anytime I can make $100 during the day. The one deviation was from Instacart when that customer, I think, canceled the order. Always get online and contact customer support immediately. That way you can try to get paid for your effort and time. That was definitely not fair for me to drive out there about six miles out of my way and start to do the shopping without getting paid. So contact customer service right away if something goes wrong. You stand a much better chance of them paying you than if you wait until later in the day. And also screenshot everything. During that chat, I did send him a screenshot so he could see the customer's address and be able to find the right order that I was on. All right, I'm gonna head on out and I hope you enjoyed today's video. I really don't plan on doing too many ride-alongs, but let me know in the comments, what would you like to see on this channel? And I'm eager to help you. All right, so take the lessons that you've learned from my experience and apply it to yourself. So let's get out there and make it happen. All right, take care and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.